Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's somewhat unfortunate edition. This is your host Nino, and I wanted to invite you to some further adventures on the Book 88 version 2. This is like this modern DOS computer, which is nowadays being delivered from China, which is encompassing an Intel 8088 compatible processor, a better graphics card than version one, and so on and so forth. But so far I never came, for unfortunately this unit simply committed suicide. I cannot describe it in any other way. It was working from one second to the next, then suddenly it turned off. And as I turned it on again, it refused to boot thoroughly into DOS. And I followed all the advices, disconnecting it from power, as you can see, even removing the internal battery and so on and so forth. But unfortunately, it wouldn't. And this is what it really looks like. So this is a bit of a caveat emptor for anyone considering the unit. After nothing was working, it would not complete the boot, yeah? I removed the CF card and I put it into my Linux machine and deactivated auto exec.bat and config.sys, like I renamed the files so that no driver issues are available, nothing will interfere. And look what is happening. Pressing enter, it's typing Q. Invalid date, I know. Pressing enter. And last time it wrote a dash. This time it's not, but no matter what, even if I just press enter now, it will not complete the boot. Sometimes it was writing completely strange strings. So I take it that for one reason or another, it's firmware must be somehow borked. And right now, I'm having the pleasure of discussing this with the seller and hoping to resolve the issue. Certainly nothing I can wish to anyone, but I thought that I should be quite open about this for others considering the machine. And while I may have adopted it for experiments, this is the last straw, <laughs> like, I mean, if you're doing this, do it properly, right? Like people have enough old machines to choose from. They choose a new machine mainly for reliability reasons, which is what I did it for at least. And then not even the reliability is given. You, you see it, it's doing absolutely nothing. If I put in a different CF card from a different book 8088, by the way, it will not work either. Like I have some DOS systems which I was experimenting in, in other book 8088s, no dice, doesn't boot. And that's really all I have to say. Like we can wait like this for half an hour, nothing will happen. I let it cool down as they said, yeah, I disconnected it, nothing changes. And this is all you get. Well, Thank you for joining. You have been fairly warned. Let's see how this specifically develops. See you soon. And from me, thank you for watching and goodbye. Post dictum. I found even the exact moment when this one died. So again, you see it's frozen. It doesn't actually finish its boot. But how about a little experiment? This is trusty Anh Sunamun. My original book 8088 version 1 doesn't have a serial port. And let's see whether the book 88 version 2 will permit its SD card to book, to boot on Anh Suna Moon. For if it does, then the issue clearly is not the CF card, but really the machine itself. So it has now been safely lodged with her and there she goes booting now it gets interesting
booting C, starting MS-DOS, enter the date. I'll just press enter. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it booted till the end as it should, whereas the book 88 version 2 cannot. So that's the proof that the machine is defect and not the CF card. And now let me show you just briefly from a video that in full display I may show in the future, the exact moment this friend died. Well, what was that? Okay, this one seems to be misbehaving. That didn't seem to go very well. It's not exactly an advertisement, my dear people. It's not exactly an advertisement for your actually quite way too expensive machine doing this sort of thing.